Abdominal and pelvic malignancies, particularly complex, locally advanced and locally recurrent ones, are a real challenge to manage effectively. They can be difficult to remove and often to try to remove them we have to do extended margin resections or multivisceral resections, removing lots of different organs. And in particular this applies to the deep pelvis, where they've been historically very difficult to manage. What intraoperative electron beam radiotherapy allows us is an extra tool in the toolbox for managing these really complex tumours. Where we try to get the tumour out all in one bundle, sometimes the tumour gets to the margin of that bundle and to try to mitigate against the cancer coming back again in that area where the margins are tight, we use intraoperative electron beam radiotherapy. There is a fair bit of data on it, but the data isn't necessarily high quality and really to adopt something nationwide we want much better quality information and data. And that's why we're hoping to try and develop some studies, gold standard studies like randomised control trials to try to address that data limitation in that field. So in particular we're interested in studies using this as an additive effect to the radical surgery that we do. Um, we're also looking to see whether it can potentially represent a replacement for some of the external beam radiotherapy that patients may have had in the run-up to surgery, because sometimes that can involve a 26 to 30 number of visits separately to the hospital for patients, and that, that's, that's fairly taxing at times, particularly when you've got cancer. And we're also looking to see whether we can modify the, the, the extent of the resection because this tool is now available. So this was a real challenge for us to try and develop. This is the first centre in the UK now that we've got this availability and it was a real challenge. It, it, re it required a lot of teamwork from a, a, lots and lots of different sources. We had to have a, a, a involvement of our anaesthetists, various surgical teams, the estates, there were modifications to the theatre that were made to enable this to happen. And most importantly, we were able to successfully secure charity funding from the Planet's Cancer Charity to be able to obtain the machine and use it. There's already been a number of, number of units who have expressed an interest in trying to develop this as well, and we've been in communication with them, and we're hoping that the development of specialist randomised studies in this area will help, will speed that process up. I think better patient selection um, for interventions such as this is going to be critical, and one of the things we're also interested in is looking at the biomarkers which we can identify in some patients to see whether or not they make them more sensitive or, or less res or resistant to radiotherapy treatments at the time of surgery. So far we've used it on 44 patients who are the first 44 in the whole of the UK who have undergone this treatment as well as combining it obviously with the radical surgery and the most interesting thing to me is that despite the fact that these are really high risk tumours for the cancer coming back in the area of the surgery we've not seen any local recurrences where we've used this treatment which I think is an excellent and really promising area to look at and clearly has been potentially changes the, the outlook for these patients significantly.